Now, the government of Niger has announced it is breaking off its military cooperation with the United States, putting U.S. counter-terrorist operations in West Africa at risk. The decision means that U.S. military and civilian personnel are likely to leave Niger, where the U.S. has a major drone base. Well, looking into this for us is our terrorism expert, Wasim Nasser. He's with me now. First of all, Wasim, was this announcement over the weekend by the government in Niger expected? Well, it was quite expected mm. since Niger took the same path as Mali and Burkina Faso, uh, but they went much, much faster, actually, by denouncing uh, military treaties with France and now with the United, uh, United States. This treaty goes back to 2012, and it led to the construction of this uh, base in Agadez, a drone base that we see that we see here that costed $100 million. In order to make it uh, actually operational, we should know that yesterday was a flight between Rammstein and Agadez, uh, the American army, and the spokes of the State Department said that they are aware of what the uh, uh, Nigerian said and that they will keep us as the public informed. So do we know what kinds of operations the Americans have been conducting from that drone base? Well, actually, they had two main bases, the Agadez base mm -hmm. that we talked about, and another base for intelligence next to the uh, airport of uh, Niamey. But actually, the Agadez base was, uh, had, was operational way beyond Niger especially uh, into Libya and on surveillance bases into Mali and Burkina Faso to help French efforts at the time, mm -hmm. but also to help Niger's army in combating uh, jihadi factions, knowing that the United States paid the blood price in uh, Niger back in 20. 17 when they were fighting the Islamic State that started imp its implementation in this in this region so the accord the the agreements that we are talking about uh, regarded training uh, giving them uh, military material uh, giving them uh, for uh, making uh, uh, helping them uh, 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 about the special forces training special forces and this all this went to an end today and here what we are seeing is the situation in Mali <laughs> actually what we saw uh, before was a map where we see casualties in Mali that are going uh, uh, way much than, uh, than they, they should be. And here it is an attack conducted by Al-Qaeda yesterday in the area of Sikasso uh, against a military, a military facility. So the, the, the consequences of such stopping of uh, military cooperation are being seen in Mali and in Burkina Faso. And it could take actually the same path in Niger, knowing that juntas in all three countries, their first priority isn't counter tourism, but it is holding on to mm -hmm. power. And so they are looking towards Russia because Russia helps them maintain power. And then counterterrorism comes way beyond and way uh, lower in their actually priorities. And it's important here to see uh, Sikasso because we know and we have another footage of a fight between the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. And all the effort of Al-Qaeda in Sikasso was towards the fight with the Islamic State in Mali, actually, which took almost a year. And now they diverted their effort back against Malian, uh, Malian forces. And if we can see this video, here it is. You see the numbers of Al-Qaeda jihadis here. Uh, while they were preparing uh, late, uh, late in July a fight against the Islamic State. One of the most prominent leaders of the Islamic State, Luqman, was killed in the fight. And a few days ago, the Al-Qaeda leader of that fight was killed by the Islamic State. So their fight is really important, and it is, uh, it is much consuming regarding resources for the two uh, factions, uh, actually. So to be clear then, mm. the fact that the Americans are set then to mm. leave Niger you think we'll see more of this kind of fighting, more of these attacks? Will the region become even more unstable? Well, actually, that's what we saw in Mali. Yeah. That's what we saw in Burkina Faso yeah. and also could happen in Niger because it also became a territory of competition mm. between Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. If we can say a word about Burkina Faso, we can see a map where we see the number of casualties in Burkina Faso that uh, way when is almost 800 killed for the month of February meaning double of the months of past January. And we can see the latest attack in December of Al-Qaeda against a military facility in Soleil, which we started to see earlier. And you can see that still, uh, despite the Burkina Bay army military effort, despite the drones that they bought from Turkey, the jihadis are still being able to uh, um, commit attacks all over the, the territory. And one last thing, either in Mali or Burkina Faso, and maybe tomorrow in Niger, the number of civilian casualties is just enormous compared to uh, a few years back. Thank you very much indeed, Wasim Nasser, for us there, our expert in terrorism.